Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop. And today we're going to start a unique series that goes through the 3D menu. I'm going to go through each of these items to help you get started using Photoshop 3D paint system. There are two forms of painting inside Photoshop. That's texture and projection. You can enable this in the 3D menu or by selecting a brush when you have a 3D mesh layer active. You can select inside the properties 3D paint texture projection. Now in our help it does indicate that there seems to be live 3D painting, layer projection painting, projection painting, texture painting. That's totally confusing and it's not even accurate. So layer projection painting is projection painting. It's just painting on an additional layer and then flattening it. If I were to paint on a layer like this and then merge it down, command E, merge down, it would project it just as if I was painting it like this on the model directly. It's not a different painting engine, it's just another way to merge textures and data onto the model. So that is what some people are calling layer projection painting. It is just projection painting. It can be confusing. Um, there's live 3D painting which is both projection and texture painting. So I understand that the help is kind of confusing there and I just wanted to clear that up early on. There's only two forms and one is projection and one is texture. At this point I am painting texture as we'll look here in my properties. Let's switch to the brush. It is set to texture so you can see that I'm not hitting some parts here for some reason. If I start painting on it then all of a sudden I'm, I'm actually hitting that part. I'm going to go ahead and start painting on this element and you notice that it's only painting on that element. It's not painting across on everything. See it's missing the end of the wing unless I actually click on it. Now the reason is that there are multiple textures on this model. There's different textures. There's a bunch of materials here. And I'm only painting on a selected one, the one that I'm hovering over. And let's go ahead and open one of these textures. Um, I'm going to go ahead and undo this painting real quick here so we can kind of get a baseline of what it looks like. One more to do it. Let's go ahead and select this one right here, which is material 25. Edit that texture. Go ahead and arrange it so we can see both documents here. I'm going to click on this one, make it active, select my brush again, and I'm painting on the texture. And you see the crosshairs tells you where that brush is. There's a crosshairs on the texture document on this side. And if I choose to paint on this side, the crosshair moves again to show you where you're going to be painting on this model. This is only painting on that one single texture, material 35, I think is what it was. That's the only texture we'll paint on. You can only paint on this one and no other texture. That's it. Now, let's go ahead and close this. Let's not save this. I'm going to undo that again. If I wanted to paint across multiple textures at once, I would switch to projection. It's a little bit slower. It's a little more intensive for the, the computer, but it hits everything if that's what you want to do. And imagine you're holding a model or you have it um, you know, on the ground and you're using a spray can directly painting on it. It's only going to get those areas that it can see. So where the other one would paint just on the entire texture, this is repeating texture over here. That's why it's on the back here. But you're not going to be painting on the back side of this because the spray can is just not going to reach it. And that's projection painting. And that's pretty much it for this one, for this 3D menu. I will leave you with one little caveat. Um, if you are painting materials, you may want to look at the properties here and choose Render Settings Unlit. It will remove the shadows and the lighting from the model. And you can see exactly what your paint should look like. So when you are painting, you can see the colors more accurately. And then you can always preview it again, uncheck the box with whatever lighting you have to see how it looks. And that's one little trick um, for you. And I hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.